everybody, Joe Burnich with Big West Marketing. In this short but powerful video, my promise to you is that by the end, you're gonna learn how to make a YouTube thumbnail easily, quickly, and free, and uh, make a thumbnail that will convert more visitors, get higher click-through rates, improve the SEO of your video, and help people actually click on it and watch it. So this is for people that are creating YouTube videos that want to take it up a level. So let's get started. All right, so here we are on my YouTube screen and let's look and see what is a thumbnail first. Like let's talk about what is a thumbnail. All these little pictures right here that you see when you log into YouTube, these are thumbnails. There's a little picture you click on before you actually go and watch the video. You may or may not know what I'm talking about, but there you go. So how are we going to create a thumbnail that makes people want to click on it? Okay, so let's let's talk about this. So I just made a video called Marketing Tips for Roofers. So let's go, let's say somebody's searching around for something that you offer and uh, they end up on this YouTube page and they're scrolling through and looking at all the different videos. Um, so what I want to emphasize here is that these ones that just have a little shot from the video, these little like screenshots where people didn't take any time and effort to put in uh, their very own uh, special thumbnail, those ones do not get uh, as many clicks as the ones that have a uh, special thumbnail. And so what kind of thumbnails actually get the most clicks? This is not, this is not just my opinion, this is based on research from different companies that research this kind of stuff. But the consensus is if you've got a dark background with big bold text that basically solves their problem, whatever they're searching for, it solves their problem. So pretty much your title needs to closely match what, your, uh, what the text on your thumbnail has, uh, which should also match the search. So if, some, if a roofing company comes around and they're searching for marketing tips for roofers, they're gonna see this down here, it says roofer marketing tips. Boom, Just it's, it's exactly what they're searching for. So the chances of me getting this click before anybody else are much higher, okay? So um, let's scroll through here and see what other people are doing. Uh, nobody has put in anything that is gonna grab attention here in the top. Even though I'm number four, I still will probably get more clicks than, than the top three. Great pricing, there's some big text, but it has nothing to do with marketing tips for roofers. Uh, here's another one. This is pretty good, a dark background with bright text. Um, Facebook video ads for roofers. So kind of on, on, on par there, but it's not talking about marketing tips, which is what people are searching for up here. Now, if somebody was searching for Facebook video ads for roofers and then this comes up, then yeah, this is going to be a, that's a perfect thumbnail. But in this case, that's not, uh, that's not the best option. Uh, roofing company testimonials no that's that I mean yeah that's got the the bright text on the dark background but it doesn't answer their question doesn't solve any problems so from what I can tell right now I've got the number one thumbnail on this whole page here and this this video just went up yesterday so it's hard to tell um, yet exactly uh, what kind of click through rates I'm gonna get but um, based on all the research out there um, over the next year, I'll probably be at the very top, specifically because I have such a powerful thumbnail. So, how do we create these thumbnails, Joe? So let's do, let's look at that. Okay, so I opened up my, I, I went ahead and logged into YouTube, and now I'm back inside my account. I'm going to click on my channel, and then I'm going to click on Video Manager so I can see all of the videos I made within this channel, which is right now is only three. So uh, the the one that we were talking about, Roofer Marketing Tips, I go in there to edit that. Okay, and what happens here? Um, you see, let's see. Right here is where I change the image. So I can either pick one of these, which is just little screenshots for my video, and actually a screenshot actually matches my thumbnail here. But basically you're gonna click on here, and you're gonna click Change Image, you're gonna go and you're gonna find the thumbnail that you created, which I'm gonna show you how to do that in a moment. But you're gonna find your thumbnail 
and you're going to upload it right there. So as you're doing the editing of your video, as it after it publishes, you will have this option when you go into edit to the edit screen. Is there is there'll have one, two, three like suggestions that YouTube will give you as far as a thumbnail. But scrap that, you want to create your own and upload it right here so you can get the highest bang for your buck when it comes to getting clicks, getting views, all that good stuff. And that'll also raise you up in the rankings as well, the more clicks you get and the more views. All right, so let's go over to how are we going to make this. So what I do, there's different ways to do it. What I do is I have a template set up in Photoshop. Now I don't expect everybody watching this video to go out and buy Photoshop and learn how to use Photoshop just to make thumbnails, but if you already have Photoshop or a similar graphic design program, then what you want to do is set up a, a master thumbnail, that's what I call it, and go in here so you can quickly swap out text and swap out a picture. Okay, I like to put a goofy picture of my face screenshotted from my video. Um, I it's my theory that that'll be kind of intriguing and get people to click on it and watch it even more but that's just a theory don't hold me to that but the text on the back background that matches your title matches the search that is proven so that's how I make my thumbnails and then I turn it into a JPEG and I upload it let's look and see what size YouTube requires so I go to image size so you want to make sure that the width of your a thumbnail is 1920 pixels and that the height is 1080 so go ahead and write that down 1920 and 1080 that's the size of the image you want if you're creating this in a graphic design program such as Photoshop a free graphic design program out there if you want to go learn one is called GIMP G-I-M-P dot com and you can download that for free very similar to Photoshop um, and but there's still going to be a big learning curve in, in learning how to use that so if you don't want to learn how to use that absolutely fine what you want to do is go over to our good friend Google here and type in YouTube thumbnail maker and what you're gonna find is all these free programs that have these thumbnail makers they'll probably try to sell you something as well um, but you get these thumbnail makers, they're free, they have templates, and it'll make it a little bit easier uh, for you, faster for you to generate a thumbnail, pop it into your video, and then double your click-through rate, triple your click-through rate, double your views, all that good stuff. So the point of this whole conversation is you need to have a specific custom thumbnail, not just a thumbnail, but a custom thumbnail with big bold text on a dark background that explains exactly what you're going to be talking about and answers the searcher's question. So it needs to be in the title and whatever you think the search is going to be or the keyword, whatever you want to call it. So that's it. That's it for thumbnails. I hope this is helpful. Stay tuned for more helpful YouTube tips and general marketing tips uh, for websites, SEO, all that good stuff. And I want to make sure you guys get access to my free book which explains a lot more of this type of stuff 150 pages I wanna send it out to you for free okay I'm giving this book away for free this physical book with about 150 pages I just ask that you pay shipping and handling and I'll put a link on the video so you can grab that also if you wanna get a free consultation with Big West Marketing with me and my team um, I'll have a link for a free consultation um, and then also if you like the content in this video please subscribe to my YouTube channel, make comments, ask questions down in the comments and I'll reply as soon as I possibly can. Click this, click like, click share, help me get this, help me get this video out there and, and so we can help as many people as possible. Once again, my name is Joe Burnich with Big West Marketing and I will talk to you soon.